Becoming a composer was a, a gradual, aware process. Composition is um, a strong desire that needs uh, continuous studies, close contact with the players uh, and um, wide imagination. It is a, a rich activity, um, vital, but sometimes uh, overwhelming. It is a constant need of asking yourself uh, questions and uh, an endless uh, research uh, for answers. At the very beginning uh, of a new project, there is only um, an idea, an intention, which leads uh, to a progressive exploration of uh, the material. At first, uh, mm, I can define uh, which will be the structure of the piece. I need to be intuitive. Uh, mm, I, need to, um, I need to work checking out the imaginary sound on, on the instrument with the players. Some of my recent works uh, revolve around uh, the exploration of the material the instruments are made of. Mm, this is evident in a recent work uh, for string orchestra, Interno Metafisico da Pre de Chirico, composed in 2015. Before writing this piece, I had composed a piece for, um, for solo cello that became uh, a new starting point. Uh, I'm still working on, on the piece with the help of uh, Francesco Dillon. The work made uh, on the single instrument was then um, uh, amplified and enlarged for the string orchestra and therefore it was modified, uh, changing uh, shapes uh, and passing down a new content. I have recently started a new piece for harp that is mm, close to this kind of um, exploration of the material, um, as uh, it is evident from the title, Wood Metal Strings. I feel mm, delighted of writing this piece because uh, I am in close contact with the musician, Emanuela Battigelli, who is an amazing artist. Mm, this way of writing is really rewarding because um, it allows me to get close to the abstract idea, checking out the imaginary sound. By looking at the image of a rose, Umberto Eco used the expression unlimited semiosis to refer to, to the open-ended possibility of uh, human interpretation. He said that um, the rose came to symbolize so many meanings um, that it hardly has any meaning left. Therefore, I, I use the flower as a metaphor for composition itself, uh, for the hidden essence of composition, getting close to the limit between sound and silence. <laughs> 